taking a closer look at the resources available to those battling addiction. You're watching 8 News at 6. I'm Eric Phillips. And I'm Heather Hope. Tonight, I'm giving you an inside look at two programs focused on recovery. Heroin and fentanyl has such a strong grip on you. It's like a vice. I call it my demon, you know. Unable to shake the grip of drug addiction, South Boston native Jasmine Lovelace went from college to incarceration. Enough is just enough for me. Um, I've almost lost my own life to multiple overdoses and my daughter's lost daddy. She can't lose mama too. Finally ready for recovery. Jasmine joined the Chesterfield Women's Community Corrections Alternative Program, or CCAP. It's where probationers receive substance abuse treatment, job training, therapy, and group classes for six to 11 months. One of the biggest focuses that we do in all of our CCAPs is a cognitive community. And a cognitive community really focuses on a 24 hour a day living where they are, we use, you know, social interactions in order to help change behavior. Hannah White works as a recovery coach as the CCAP program manager. It really showed me that community is such an essential part of particularly recovery. They need each other to help each other. Justin Savoy knows about the power of community combating addiction. Erasing the stigma behind it and accepting the fact that they need help. He and his two students just spoke at the White House Recovery Month Summit about their school, the Chesterfield Recovery Academy. Justin is the coordinator. A lot of times they come in, they're very apprehensive, sometimes a little angry because they're there. But then by the end of the day or by the end of the school year, they're completely different. The school is the first recovery academy in Virginia. It opened in 2022 as a state funded program for students in grades 9 through 12 across the region struggling with substance use. They get swept up in it so quickly. Um, and then this escalates from there. Instead of dropping out or missing school, these students check in daily with clinicians, have group sessions, and take all their normal classes. So it's been great, but it's also had been a shocker because of how many kids have actually come in who have been using drugs and alcohol. With just two months left on her probation, Jasmine says accountability is the biggest lesson she's learned in her recovery program where she's now a senior coordinator. It's given me the tools that I need, but it's also shown me how to use my tools instead of just giving them to me. 